What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, my good sis, well, my other good sis, Tea Room. Karma lawyer released a statement, and Corey is in big trouble. Oh, Tea Room, you forgot the R. So as I previously reported, Carmen is pressing charges on Corey after he leaked those photos. Now, Carmen's lawyer did speak out on Instagram. She stated, as many of you know, at its Carmen has endured unspeakable trauma, including doxing, revenge, P, cyberbullying, threats, and relentless harassment. These actions not only violate her privacy and dignity, but also represent a gross infringement of her fundamental rights. Hold on, y'all. Mango mad because uh, Honey Sauce's little niece over here, and she's scared of him. I'm about to bring him in the room. Such behaviors cannot and will not be tolerated. We are determined to pursue all available legal avenues to ensure at its Carmen receives the justice and protection she rightfully deserves. As a victim of domestic violence myself, I encourage anyone who has experienced similar injustices to come forward and seek help. Our doors are open and we are here to provide the legal guidance and support needed to navigate through these challenging circumstances. So Carmen has officially lawyered up and Corey was on Instagram Live. He is out of the hospital he did explain why he was in the hospital in the first place as well as this whole situation with Carmen why he exposed those pictures and everything else I'm gonna post the live here and as always you guys leave your opinions down below but tell me why I died and came back to life Saturday in Panama City I was on my dad down. I passed out in line of the Ferris wheel with Bay. And goddamn hit my head on the concrete hardest. But I passed out. I didn't have no post. I got rushed to the hospital. Then they took me to Pensacola, Florida. So in the midst of that moment of me in the hospital, all of this shit happening in real time. I get on Instagram when I get up, up in the hospital and I hear this song. And the first thing I hear is all the lies. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. I wanna just apologize for one thing. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna be dead ass under the child. How angry I am and was at the moment and the lie that was put out, it was like I was on demon time. Of, like, I'm just, I gotta prove my point. These, these lies, so it's like, all right, so for one, I want to talk about this too because I told y'all that I was going to post the pictures um, on my Patreon. And to be honest with y'all, um, like journalism is a real thing. Clearly people go to school for journalism, so I'm not about to like shoot people, you know, claim I'm a journalist. I went to school for it. I didn't. I'm a hood journalist as far as I'm concerned. But it's a lot I still have to look up on journalism. But what I will say is when journalists talk about these types of things, they do prove it. Um, they blur it out, but it, ha it has to be proven because they have to let you know. That's why receipts are a thing. People just called it receipts, but um, showing what really happened is a thing. That's why you see these vulgar videos and shit like that. But anyway, I said that I was going to post the pictures, and I said that to my Patreon, first of all, but I said that because they already out there, y'all. Them pictures is out there. Now, what I didn't think about was, you know, I would be adding fuel to the fire. I didn't think about that. What my thought process was, they already out there. When y'all say that you do shit for money, y'all got to understand I'm at work. That's number one. I am at work. I am at work. Work, I am at. You get what I'm saying? So doing my job is going to, money is going to be involved because when you do your job, money is involved as well, correct? But when... I said I was going to show y'all the pictures. I didn't say come to Patreon and give me an extra donation to see her pictures or I'm out here soliciting her. That's not what that was. So I make money regardless because I'm at work. Just like you make money regardless when you at work. Okay. Stop making this a you making money thing. We all making money. We all got to go to work. I mean, let's stop playing with me. Okay. Uh, however, I do understand the fact that adding Showing the pictures will be adding fuel to the fire, and I'm a part of the problem. I respect that, and I will not be showing those pictures. They are all over the internet, but 
respectfully, I will not be adding fuel to the fire showing the um, showing the picture. So whoever commented that, I responded back, but I respect it, and I'm not going to post them. What I did wasn't right. <clears throat> That's why I took the picture down in 10 minutes on Snapchat as a piano child. So... That's also the reason why I wanted to bring this up. Him posting a picture saying that he was proving a point really does not make sense. You showing her being naked with another girl laid out doesn't prove that that's what she wanted. I don't know why he thought that would be proof. Whatever. <laughs> but it get deeper than that. So it's like, it's time to take y'all on this, on, this, on this trip with me on YouTube. I'm glad he did apologize. Absolutely. It's just, it doesn't make sense as to why he thought that that would be proven a point. I don't understand that. Y'all finna, finna see something. A person that's been lying to y'all for so long to try to cover their ass and figure their life out to, to say that I made Diddy look like an angel is beyond me. Like, and, and it's like every, Cover their ass and figure their life out. It's crazy. Everybody know this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's in the circle. I, I really feel sorry because I don't know what Hill, Floyd, and Ebony. Like, they always been about money. That's why I really was on and off working with them. I got a lot of proof on this. You know what I'm saying? What y'all feel to realize is this. <laughs> the same people that just set this video up and that song up, it's the same people, the real reason why me and Carmen broke up. And another thing, go on YouTube and go find the video when I spoke on me and uh, Carmen getting into it and I put a gun out. For her to get on here, a lot of y'all say I put a gun in her mouth and to her head and uh, the way she, it's like beyond me. But I know who's behind it. But I'm going to show y'all so much shit that's going to fuck all y'all up. So I'm not going to lie. I believe that he did that. It is alleged. It ain't none of my business. But I do believe that he did that. Um, somebody asked, oh, not somebody, Kia asked, said, um, what did we do to Mango? We, uh, Honey Saw's niece is here and she's afraid of him. So I know he's a puppy, but she's afraid of him. So he got to sit in the room and he upset. But for a person that get on here, they've been lying to y'all this long. I just, I just want to put this out there. I, I, I'm going to let y'all know. Now, I wasn't there with them. So... Take what, what I'm about to say with grace. Carmen told the truth about what you've already exposed her about. You said that she um, cheated on you. She admitted to it. Uh, did she, was she sp specific with what she did? No, we don't even care, Corey. You done had that community pain all up in everybody's... Um, your beef just been all up in everybody's taco. Nobody necessarily uh, care if she sent a text message to your friend, your brother, your uncle. Nobody gives a damn but you and niggas. When y'all get to cheating on these women and keep doing it, she get you chance after chance after chance, you still doing it? It's like, okay, I'm going to show you what it's like to be hurt. I'm going to show you what it's like to, to feel what I'm feeling. And you don't like it. But she already admitted to cheating. Got it. We don't care. That wasn't a lie. Her being lazy. She said she wasn't never a lazy person, but she did have her moments where she was not feeling doing anything because she was stressed the hell out. Why? Because she's the main one raising those children. We would be able to say that she's lying, but every time we turn around, you on live outside somewhere. You on live outside. She in the house. We don't be knowing where she at, but you be on live outside. Mothers know she tired. I raised children myself. We tired, boss. Okay, well, we ain't got no help. I got two other children over here right now to help these mamas. She tired, okay? So she didn't lie about that. She also admitted to that as well. You also said, that she wasn't a good mother or has moments where she wasn't being a good mother. She admitted to that. Literally, it was times I wasn't being a good mama. It was. Shit, I'm out here losing my mind. You out here cheating on me, treating me like this, this, and that. Yeah, I, I'm ready to knock CJ out. Somebody come get him. You know what I'm saying? 
She didn't lie about that. So the whole so many lies, you telling so many lies. I don't understand the so many lies. I really don't. And, and she let these people use her, I don't know, to make money or whatever. That Let's stop acting like it's not to make money. She wanted to tell her truth and a bag came with it. She don't have no money. You put her in this predicament to not have no money and fend for herself to take care of these children. So she throwing your ass up under the bus. I would say she's wrong, but you've been throwing her up under the bus since y'all broke up. Every chance he get. And then it's so nasty the way you do it. Like we got to see her nude and um, the drunk side of her and um, the text messages and just all the shit that we shouldn't even know about. You know what I'm saying? So nasty with it. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Fuck they got going on that side of her. She need the money. We'll break it all the way down to everything she kind of low-key said. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna, I got it all up. And it's, like, it's, it's beyond me. But now, <sighs> I'm in a relationship now, and it's like... It's the I'm in a relationship. If this never. really was true anyway, she would have been... You would have tried to been say something about this or anything. If it was true, and on top of that... Cap! One thing about the women that get abused, they don't want to talk about the abuse. They're scared to talk about the abuse, especially when the nigga is still around or especially when she ain't got no money or especially when you still own her, basically. Now you don't own her. That's you and your ass, boy, you threw. <laughs> I feel like now that I'm in a relationship, I got to go ahead and clear the air up and I got to just go ahead and show y'all the real truth behind our relationship, mm. me and Carmen. Y'all gonna see my wrongs, but I already admitted for it on the internet. Like, I done moved on, you know what I'm saying? I done grew from a lot of my mistakes, so like, it ain't. You, you keep trying to use my past against me, I get that, it's okay, but it's like, damn, like, you can't keep trying to use a past against somebody. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna show y'all, go, go, go shit a lot. Of Your past will ever haunt you. I this shit up, and y'all gonna really look at this person so different, because I hate I gotta do this. It really shocked me, like, this came out of nowhere, like, it's like, the fuck? But she back with Florida Ebony, though. And it's like... Surprise. I really left her alone, because, like, she's in her own right. Move on. Now I got to really show everybody who she really is. And now I'm going to take out on this journey. So, first of all... <laughs> you really want to do this It kind of made me upset. A lot of the lies she put in this shit. So much of the shit is made up. I'm going to tell you the dog. A lot of this shit made up. Ah. <sighs> Carmen been lying to y'all since we broke up. When me and Carmen first broke up, me and Carmen, she said she, she said her, her, her video where she got caught testing the guy or whatever. The guy was somebody that was inside my house that was like, that's real cool with me, that's close with me. So. She texted him. You smashed her best friend. So. You, he not understanding he is coming to Beyonce's internet with all these women. You will not win. You're not going to win, I'm telling you. In the abuse part, I'm not saying that ain't the biggest part, but the details is what we really care about and what we've seen already. You've been cheating on her this whole time. <laughs> and you think, like, we out here wishing it was like, if you had a brother, we out here wishing it was your brother. Or like, you talking about your homeboy, and he wasn't your homeboy if he was texting your wife. Somebody that was real close to me. Man, he knew how you was treating her, and he decided to treat her better. Guarantee. I mean, um, she did a lot of y'all. She Everything that happened, we was good. You feel me? She went to her friend's house. Drink. Somebody said, what does Beyonce internet mean? Y'all know this internet belong to Beyonce? Come on now. <laughs> This is Beyonce internet. This 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 whole internet belong to Beyonce. You get that's all. It, Beyonce own it. Mm hmm. Whether y'all got Spectrum, AT and T, Google Fiber, Verizon, Beyonce owns it. Look it up. <laughs> Don't look it up. <laughs> My intuition told me she was cheating. 
No bullshit shit. I just actually knew she got to the studio. I got proof around my whole house. Everybody know that's what goes on around her. So a lot of the lies that she put out <sighs> kind of baffles me because it's like, yo, you know you got, I got real eyes, everybody that knows you. I got hella videos. I got, I got everything. You let two people get in your head, try to get some money. Because I ain't going to hold you. I've been like healing. So I really ain't been seeing my, my girlfriend. She deleted Instagram on my phone. So I ain't been seeing nothing. I ain't been on here. But so, but it's like, I can imagine how viral this shit going because I know who behind it. But y'all just really went viral just for me to come and just really shut y'all the fuck down and really show who y'all really are. This is some crazy shit. And I was moving on fine. I wasn't even fucked up about them. Let's break this shit all the way down from a lot of the shit that Carmen said or whatever. We're going to break everything down. From the moment she lied to y'all, said that she came back to me. For the kids, full blown lie. I was in Houston getting my teeth done. Carmen lied to y'all. She said that she don't keep my kids from me. That she, yes, she does. Carmen do this because Carmen. She actually admitted to that as well. What she said was, she don't. She said she don't keep them from you, but then she ended up saying, if I do keep them from you, it's because you didn't want them in the first place. She. We seen the picture, Corey, the kid stuff. Like, it's one thing to be petty. Like, I get it. You're a Gemini. I'm a Leo. Sagittarius. It, it, and I'm saying Sagittarius because they just as petty. Well, so are Tauruses. We all got our petty in us. But, Corey, the kid stuff outside. Corey, you put the kid stuff outside. How you pack up her stuff? As if the kids wasn't going with her because we know you're not ready to take care of your children full time. Stop playing. You you love to be outside and have your old meat and somebody else's taco. That is your focus right now. So do you. But you put the kids stuff outside, Corey. I mean, the beds, the toys. I wouldn't want you to have them either. I mean, no, that's the only way she can kind of hold me, hold me to her. You feel me? Like, she do this all the time. Like, anytime me and Carmen get into it, she go try to use the kids. All right, boom. It's, I, Carmen got three domestic violence cases. If I put a gun in your mouth, if I put a gun in your head, if I did all of this stuff that you claim that I did, why in the hell you haven't put me in jail you try to get the law on me? I call the police on Carmen. Because she's an illegal immigrant. Corey, you got to stop proving her point now. You got to stop proving her point, Corey. <laughs> Corey! <laughs> Corey! <laughs> Corey, we know that she's illegal. <laughs> so... If she admits it, she really going to, I mean, not admits it. If she called a popo ho, guess who they going to be ready to take? Both of y'all, for one, because you did that. But for two, she going back to Hon Honduras, wherever she from. Come on, Corey. You, God. <laughs> you got to stop with your line. Three hey, times, well, more than three stop. times, actually, y'all. And I did it in Six. front of some friends to be that. So... A lot of the girls that follow her yeah, page that know her, that even that was at our house, remember this night. Well, Carmen, Carmen, three, 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 Carmen throws stuff. She's aggressive. She's abusive, bro. She be punching. She be hitting. She get shit like she throw it. It's the Latina. I don't know, but like, you know. It like, ain't just a Latina. You be cheating on her, man. Now, once again, I always have to reiterate this, especially when the man see my video. If a woman is just out here whooping your ass, at some point you are going to have to defend yourself, period. But boy, boy, if you over there provoking her, cheating, treating her like she ain't nothing, I can, I can hear you right now. Especially the fact that you act like you just, you work for all this. This is your money. You just work for everything. Like, bro, <laughs> I would have lost my mind on you. You lucky it was just little punches and shit. But my thing is she's four foot nine or something. <laughs> like, ouch. The other day, the game, 
said if a woman putting his hand if a woman putting her hands on him it literally doesn't affect him because clearly it's a difference you're stronger we got it men are stronger women use glock 19s it's a difference but if she kept hitting on you and it's so abusive why are you staying with her like that how bad it get so she throw chairs one night go crazy like doing the absolute most i called the police on her. Texas police is so different because it's like they somehow turn the situation back into the man. It's the most weirdest shit ever. It ain't weird. The police probably said, well, did you cheat on a man? You Come on now. What did you do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some women do just go off the handle and just do a lot. <laughs> well, hey, Mago. <laughs> Some women just go off the handle. He is so upset. <laughs> It's so upset. <laughs> Some women just kind of do the most. You know what I'm saying? But what if you wasn't cheating on her and all that, I just would. I, I don't agree with him. I called the, the, car, the police on Karma another time. She was like being a, abusive. I got videos. I'm going to show y'all the proof. So don't just listen to the things that I say. I'm going to show y'all the proof. Y'all going to see it with y'all own eyes. Like, he like, I let me out. I some of everything. I always recorded stuff. And it's funny to me because I never thought I'd be using this stuff. But I always record it because I said to myself, I say, bro, I see how women get down and how y'all get away with shit. So as a man, you got to always protect yourself at all costs. But you better have your proof somehow, somewhere, because if not, Where is it at? Is grass. If I didn't have proof of, against all of this, all y'all going to try to come over here and tell us I'm a motherfucking woman beat all the weird ass shit. Like dead ass. All y'all gonna come over here and try to delete off, off this one lie. What the, the lie this girl from this song, who I really am, y'all gonna come over here and try to believe everything she said if I ain't had nothing to prove to I'm gonna show y'all. And y'all gonna see if she if she been lying and I'm gonna prove to y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all how bad of a lie it is. I'm gonna show y'all how bad she been lying to y'all. And going along with everything she's doing right now. Dead ass. So we're gonna hop into it before we even get too far in this. I'm gonna hit so many pinpoints real quick to bring everything together with y'all. You remember she kept lying to everybody saying that we wasn't back together, we wasn't talking nothing like that. When yeah. I went to Houston, y'all, Carmen called, takes my phone at five o'clock in the morning. Now Precious is my witness through everything in this whole entire situation. She got on her video and lied to y'all, said that I moved the girl in. I'm like, she made all this shit up. She lying to y'all. It's so crazy. We're going to break everything down. But Carmen texts me at 5 in the morning as she left the club. And she knew I was in town. She thought about me. She told me to talk about me. But she called my phone. That's how we... She wanted some meat. I said something totally different on Twitch, but she wanted some meat. Man. And I texted her. I said... I didn't even want to test her first because I was like, what the fuck? But then I tested her back and I told her, I said, we need to link up, we need to talk. Woo. So she didn't, so we met, we, we decided to link up and go to um, the restaurant. We call, uh, uh, what the name of the restaurant? Fuck, it's in Houston. Uh, the, the, the seafood restaurant over in, um, no near the gallery matter. area. I forgot the name <laughs> of it. But we went there, right? I didn't find out that the kids wasn't with her until I walked outside in the car that morning from the hotel. So when I walked outside in the car, I was literally expecting to see the kids. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I opened the door, they not in there. She looked at me, she was like, oh, the kids is not here. Uh, they're in Alabama. So she needed a break. And I was like, okay. So you gotta tell the stories how everything would go. And she, bro, when I break this shit down, all the lies, I haven't seen too much yet, but I'm gonna go look and see everything that y'all said, and I'm gonna sit back and laugh at y'all. And we're gonna be sitting back laughing at this side. Gore. I ain't gonna lie, you're the only one getting laughed at, boy. Boy, you keep telling on yourself. And I'm here to tell you that you be telling on yourself. You know, sometimes I be hoping some of y'all watching, I, do I know everything? Hell no. But I've been in these shoes. Corey, I'm telling you, you ain't saying nothing right now. You proving her point. She winning. She gonna win. Let it go. I'm telling you. Drop it. Let it go. I'm telling you. Yo, bro, we get in the car, we go to the restaurant. Put the place on with a G, some, some fucking restaurant. And so we get there, man, I apologize to Carmen. Hey, boys, bro. 
face to face. No, I asked her a question first. I asked her, was, did you lie to me when you told me that you wasn't illegal? Like, you didn't know that you wasn't illegal. And she said, no, she didn't lie. So I was like, thank you, in the restaurant. Huh? Then I apologized to her through a, why I went so hard because I told the real that, yo, this girl lied to me saying that she's an immigrant. She was, when she wasn't an immigrant or whatever, she married me, all this shit. And I got a whole story on how it happened. It's fucked up, her and her mom, to be exact. Cor, whether she lied on day one or whether she lied on day 217, you stayed with her and you married her. You forgave her. Let's just be honest. You forgave her for lying, T. And you married her. You still not proving the point, Corey. We, try, we looking for the points. And that's why I was so angry. You feel what I'm saying? When I found out. So I apologized to her about that. Like, we back who? We went to her house that night. We had sex that night. Y'all married, Core. Married couples do the nasty. When you ain't seen it again in a while, y'all be going, oh, we're going through some things. You know what I'm saying? We done apologize to each other. We get a little, we get a little sex going. Core. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, S all right, you got some coaching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was back good from that night, from that day on four. She ain't want to claim you in public, uh, uh, boy, Corey. She ain't want to claim you in public, and you mad at that. Corey keep trying to prove the fact that he was talking to her during the time that she was talking to Michi. So, y'all play women all the time. Michi was still talking to his ex. We just found that out. They wasn't in a relationship, so <laughs> we don't care. She was not cheating on neither one. Of, well, y'all married. Clearly, y'all don't abide by all that, but whatever. If anybody else you cheating on, it was you. But she didn't have to claim you after y'all rekindle. After, after couples show their ass, talk to their family and their friends about each other, they always come back together first and don't tell nobody. Don't nobody want to. Y'all don't need to know we back together. Relax. We've been together. Relax. It's been two weeks. We need to make sure we still good. You come back and you're fine. That's why people should just listen sometimes and keep it moving. M me as well. But it's like, you mad that she wasn't claiming you. It's all right. It's okay. So everything that y'all kept seeing on her end, I'm lying. she was the one making me not like not say nothing. Like, she don't want nobody to know that we good, whatever. We so she was lying to y'all the whole entire time. And I'm saying this because it's like, for you to even get on here and even a lot of even make your lies, and you got to make it make sense. When you know that, you must thought I was dead or something. They must, what the hell? Thought I wasn't going to come on here and really tell the whole true story? So we was like, so so boom, so we're going we're gonna to break it down right here. So you know I did an interview on Tasha K, right? We're going to get to her vlog in a minute. The vlog, the, the song and the vlog is, the vlog we'll get to, we're going to break this shit down. It's going to be crazy. But I, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how she been lying to y'all. But this long so far, so y'all can see how the lies is adding up right now. So if y'all that don't know, I did a vlog with Tasha K video, right? Everything I had so I, got, I got an idea, but it's like, I don't know if she's to see the paper yet. I'm, and I told the true story. I was telling the true story about everything that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like how, how things were going and stuff like that. I'm, me and Carmen are cool this whole time. Like we all, like, I'm going to show y'all how cool y'all and I show y'all these messages thing. But... And I told her exactly what I said on the podcast. And she was like, uh, why you say that? I'm like, yo, bro, like, this is how it's supposed to be. It's positive. I'm not figuring here a lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling everybody, like, how we really are, the truth. That's why we can piss our marriage at the end of the day. She, but, and I knew she had to do the same podcast the next week, right? She went on her podcast, and what happened was, Ebony was with her. She been lying to Ebony the whole time, like, me and her not talking or whatever, I guess, right? 
She told us that. Corey, she is eight miling you. She is 20 steps ahead of you. She already told us that. Boy, you threw. You are. And when Tasha K said some things and Ebony was in there and she lied about everything, trying to cover her ass to Ebony. So that was on her interview. We know. She's seen her How long until you know y'all were serious? Like, I'm, I'm sure the first the first baby. Her. You feel what I'm saying? And I got the proof to back everything up. So let's just go ahead and back this shit up some more. We'll go back it up back to <clears throat> to when all this went down, right? I got to when watch what he showed. She had posted this video of her kissing after I had posted church. Okay, me. You see, she texted me, she said, piss the fuck off. Woo -woo -woo. So she was it, absolutely upset about Michi posting them kissing when they ain't no longer messing with each other. Cause right now she damn, damn, honey, so honey, so I say my elbows is ashy. She posted that. I mean, she said that to you because Michi done came out and embarrassed her too. Why everybody gotta know we kissing and stuff? Why everybody gotta know we doing it? They that bad? Damn. Just imagine talking seriously and okay, you over girl, here with ash ass. What's crazy is I put on lotion. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you, honey sauce. What would I do without you? Um. Yeah, she she felt some type of way because Michi, why are you exposing it too? Why y'all gotta let somebody know y'all doing us us girl? Why y'all gotta let somebody know as a woman? Y'all doing the women. We you ain't got to know that. At this moment, we don't, I'm gonna show y'all what's going come on. on, right? She when she was in Atlanta, you know, the whole Atlanta situation. Everybody kept saying she was in Atlanta with Michi. They thought I was trolling. Like everybody kept thinking that I was just trolling y'all. Like I'm just psyching out. No, I was literally I, I was in control of the narrative. Carmen knew everything that was going on. Carmen, I'm. I ain't gonna lie, Corey. You wasn't in control of the narrative. I ain't gonna lie. We already we knew she was with you. We knew because you was telling us. <laughs> okay. Texting call, like we we talking, we're good. You feel me? Y'all thought we was tweaking. She just not saying nothing. That's why she looked so safe and so innocent because she was quiet the whole time. But she was quiet the whole time because she was lying to y'all the whole time. <laughs> now that she speak out with a lie, that's why I look y'all. It looked so believable to y'all because <laughs> oh, she just not. Yeah, nah, she, listen, I'm going to be real, I hate to say this, but like she going through some real life shit. It's him saying, I hate to say this, but she going through some real life shit. Like, ain't we all? No, not only that, but she's going through it because you left your family assed out. The kids and your whole ass wife. That's why she going through something. Because something you took her away from, which was her job, by the way, that she helped you with. You took her out of her element, and now she don't have nothing. Not only did you take her out of her element, all the money y'all made together, you kept it. Now she got to keep up with this lifestyle. That's why these men having to pay this much money in child support, $100,000 a month and $20,000 a month. Cause you have to keep up with the lifestyle for that woman that you created for her. That's why women get child support and spousal support and things like that. Come on, man. Unfortunately, you have to fund that and you don't want to do it. And now you're trying to figure out why she going to the first person who going to help her. I would have rolled your ass up under that bus too. Boy, I'm talking about set you on fire first. Did one of these and rolled you right up under the bus. Oh, God. Because you, come on, now you threw it to the wolves. And then you like, I'm, I'm really surprised she went back with them. I'm really surprised about all the stuff that she did against you. You've been against her. Come on, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below because I am done with this video. Um, tap into my Patreon. I reacted to this last night on Patreon, but it wasn't as nice as what I'm saying today. Um, uh, 
But like I told y'all, I'm going to react to Tea Room. I'm going to react to Voice. And I'm going to react to So Real Tea as well. Um, so that's it. If I get to it first, I'm going to react to it and put it on my Patreon clearly for specific reasons. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yo.